Welcome back to another video. Well, another reaction video, I, I should say. Today, our last reaction video did really good. Thank you guys for all the support once again. I know I say that every video, but thank you guys so much. But today, we are reacting to another one of Damien Cryer, of the Cryer families. Erica, I guess him and Erica got back on good terms or whatever. I don't know if they're speaking terms, but I guess by the looks of the title of this video, it says that someone stole his car or his truck and him and Erica and his newborn son got stranded. And I don't really know how that would even happen nowadays if you get a vehicle and I don't know, because I, I, I don't know. Anything could happen nowadays, I guess. but. We're gonna take a look at this video because it seems like he's been having a whole bunch of bad luck with everything. He's been going through it with his with his son, their family, his Darian, his baby mother, of course, pulling a gun out on him. Now he getting his truck stolen. So I would I would hate to be him right now. You know what I'm saying? But we are gonna check out this video and see what the heck is going on because. At this point, it's just, nah, it's just too much going on right now. It's just too much, but, anyways, here we go. That intro's still clean. I need space to get the fake off. And I'm back with another video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, blessed, and amazing day today. So, where do I start at this morning? I am so frustrated, man. I am so frustrated. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm just. Last night, we decided to, you know what I'm saying? Do a little getaway, you know what I'm saying? Step away from the crib for a while, go and do something nice, you know what I'm saying? Like a little mini vacation. And uh, so, y'all know how like Airbnb is when you get an Airbnb in certain locations. They stole your shit out of Airbnb? Beautiful. How you feeling? Yeah, girl, I dad laid that. Oh, okay, they back together. She in the room, okay. So, certain places that she in the room with him. So, they back together, I guess. You have to like. Park on certain levels, and you have to park in that specific spot. You know, like in that location. So, what happened? We had the fifth floor um, Airbnb. Okay. But the elevator was easy access from the fourth floor. So what I did was. We ended up driving Erica's car here initially. Okay. But then I was like, you know what? I'm fine dark enough. I said, you know what? Shout out to my man for the uh, VOTP merch. Truck, we got the car seat. We got the items. Clean, got decent truck. quality. Forgot to tell you that. So I'm thinking like, okay. So we took Erica's Go hit him up. To my spot. Cobble hoodie, the cobble t-shirt. Grab, grab my new truck out the garage. Tell him the Stevens family sent you. He man, might throw you some. We come back here. Park the truck. In the fourth floor area, and we're supposed to park on the fifth floor. Wake up this morning, I'm like, you know what, I want some coffee before we get this day started. Bro, bro. So, you know what? You know what? I'm going to just, I'm going to just take you guys and show you, man. He looked blown. Take you guys and show you. He looked blown. I'm on my way down to the office area to try to find Apparently the office don't open up, but the people I need to speak to don't open up till 10 o'clock. And that's still like 25 minutes from now. I got my son Dion with me, uh, baby prior, and his car seat is in my trunk and everything. Uh, I've been out here for over a year now. I've never ever in my life had one of my vehicles towed. But these apartments out here, like many of them, you have to put like a sticker. 
Yeah, well, they gonna tow you. Now I'm getting the runarounds, but they said they gonna tow the hell out of you. Cap, they tow. Two for one. She said that they got here like three something, so they must have towed it around 5 30, close to 6 o'clock this morning. So I have to wait till the leasing office opens up. They got a two for one special. Find out where my truck is at. First, they told me to call the police department in the area. The police department told me that they do not tow vehicles for some private residence. So I called the other number. It's like a needle in a haystack. There's so many towing companies out here in Texas. I mean, these tow companies are thirsty as hell, man. You see a one-car accident, I promise you, you see like 15 tow trucks. Look at these idiots. Anyone should be getting towed, not me. I got like four minutes until this office opens. I see cars out here. So hopefully, uh... That's crazy. Somebody's able to tell me something, cuz. This is crazy. More money, more money. More money, more problems. Believe that. More money, more problems. They gonna want at least four hundred dollars just to get my truck back. They gonna want at least four or five hundred dollars. They sad, bro. They sad. Yeah. Okay guys, so they located my truck. Um my truck is like nine minutes away from here, so I'm waiting on an Uber to come right now to take me to get my vehicle. Erica and the baby couldn't come with me to the in town lot because my car seat is inside the truck. So they no. cannot ride with me. Hopefully they don't taxi on that so truck. I don't think I really would have wanted Dion and them to go to that uh, tow yard. I don't know if it's like really dirty and nasty and stuff. So basically, I found out what happened. When we got the Airbnb, I parked on the wrong floor. But the second thing that I did wrong was I didn't get the parking permit. You have to put this thing in your window. So whenever that you park at these, 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 these residents, you have to have like a parking sticker in a window. So the, uh, so the complex behind me, they're, they're, uh, they actually have their own um, people. The apartment complex, actually, sorry guys, the apartment complex actually has their own people that they use like 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 contracting or whatever hmm. to uh, tow your car. So I was calling around, I was freaking out. And I was freaking out bad because I know how these places are out here in Texas. My Uber driver is like two minutes away from me, so I'm gonna text Erica back. So uh, the total cost of me getting my truck back today, mm. $253 on top of the Uber driver that I okay. had to pay. Well, Erica paid the Uber driver for me. That was thanks to her. So I'm gonna have to... Um, okay. Bro, it could have been worse. To, uh, I've seen Wait, worse. Back, I've man. seen way worse. I know we all have. I gotta make my money back, man. More money, more problems. Set but that's still crazy, though. And wake up to my car getting towed. Hell yeah. But everything happens for a reason. Don't you guys ever forget that. Everything so happens for a reason. When I get my truck, I'm gonna go through my truck very thoroughly. Because y'all know I got trust issues. I don't trust these people out here. I'm going through my truck extremely thorough because I got some things in my truck. Now, I don't know if they're able to go inside my truck because the doors were locked, but I know that when they do tow a truck, they don't need the keys to tow it. They pull the pin from out the bottom of the transmission, I think, like the linkage. I said, yeah, I think it's the, it's the uh, transmission linkage pin. 
they pull that out, and that's how they can slip a vehicle into gear to be able to tow it, to roll it up on like a flatbed or whatever. So, oh wow! Hopefully, all the contents of my truck is in there. I know that. Dion's baby seat is in my truck too. So, I'm gonna turn this off, guys, because my Uber should be pulling up any second. And I'm gonna call y'all when I do get inside my Uber. Okay, guys. So I'm in my Uber now. My man Charles, thank you, sir. Oh, okay, thank you. Charles, nice guy, man. Nice, nice guy, man. You uh, how long have you been doing the Uber? Four years, man. Four years, you like it? Oh, I love it. You love it? Yeah. Hey, easy money? Yeah. No physical labor. No boss telling you what to do. No boss, that's what I'm hey, I like that. No boss. Y'all hear that man? No boss. See, Charles said he got no boss telling you what to do. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway. Financial freedom. Place, and the only reason why I'm smiling, the only reason why I'm smiling. It's because I can continue my weekend that I have planned out. But it's just really frustrating to know that you go on a little mini vacation and you have to really just like, like, like deal with certain things, man. It's like, always expect the unexpected. Facts. Always prepare yourself for the unexpected. But I get it though, he wanted to go because out, you know what I'm saying? What's gonna happen, man. Enjoy himself. But things could have been worse. I could have came out to that garage. Sometimes it don't work out like that. Some coffee. My truck could have been wrecked, tore up, or somebody could have even worse than somebody could have sold it. Right. I actually thought somebody stole it, but I'm thinking to myself, who gonna steal an F one fifty? Who gonna steal a truck? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, I'm not saying that my truck ain't worth stealing, but I'm just saying. If you get your truck stolen, oh uh, man, you got some no parking garages. Definitely got some bad luck on your side. I'm, I'm stealing a Bentley or a Bugatti. You feel me, Charles? Oh, I'm stealing something that's worth said, money, not no F-150. See, that way, You feel me, child? Yeah. Something like that. I don't know what that is, but it's nice. That's the kind of car I'm going to steal. So I'm thankful for that, man. Because like I said earlier, and I couldn't really talk because all the traffic was going up and down the street, man. But it's like Texas has so many towing places. Again, I said earlier, if you have a car accident, you have like, 10 tow trucks that's gonna pull up. You got everybody got their hand out. They thirsty out here, man. It's real out here. It's real. If you wanna make some good money, move to Texas. Cause I'm telling you, there's so many opportunities out here. I'm not even gonna lie. But tow trucking companies is the business to be in. Cause they, man, they is thirsty. I guess if I was a tow truck driver, I'd be thirsty too. I'd be on every accident site, uh, on every accident site trying to get that bag. So yeah, man, I'm gonna gritty, uh, how far away are we, Charles? Still five minutes away. So we five minutes away from picking my truck up. Is this the hood, man? Like, <laughs> is this the hood? Like, you, you come to this area a lot. Lee yeah. said, is this the hood? This is a nice place. This is a very nice area. Is it? Yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah. Um, nice is always good, man. I'm not doing a lot of good businesses around here. You from here? I'm, I'm, I've been here since 2004. Uh, I'm from Africa, Uganda. Africa, Uganda. All right. Hey, well, welcome. I hope you like it here. Uh, yeah, man. So, so I'm hoping that you know, like uh, Erica was telling me, because like I said, it's the first time I had a vehicle towed from me since I've been here. She was like, basically walk around, make sure you take pictures and stuff. Cause that, that garage where they towed my truck from, it was a really, really small space. Even coming around like the curves and stuff, and we had to park like, we had to keep going up different levels. Y'all ever been to like a casino? You mm. gotta keep going around these different levels and levels to, to get to your level. So it was one of those deals, and it was a really, really, really tight squeeze. So I'm like, I'm gonna walk around the truck to see if they ended that mug up and scratched it. Uh, you know, hopefully it's the same way that it was before they picked it up off the ground. So, I, you know, me personally, I think it's good that I didn't come out this morning and see them towing my truck because if I'd have seen them actually taking my truck, I probably would have spazzed, man. I would have spazzed, but maybe I would have offered them a little cash, like, hey, you know, here's $100 or something like that, man, get out of my face, leave me alone. But it's not really the truck that I'm worried about. I mean, I'm worried about the truck, but it's the kind of sense that's inside the truck. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, you don't know what you can have in this truck. You don't want nobody to see him. So I get that. I get that. You know, just little stuff like that that's sentimental value. And I know how these people, are, you know, how people can be, man. People thirsty, man. They will, they will take your stuff and not even give a damn about you. you know Facts. 
I'm going to turn the camera over so I get to this uh, impound or toilet place. Because uh, Charles is probably like, turn that damn camera off, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got Uganda in the house. Uganda. But I'm going to see you guys in a few minutes. Right? I'm at the towing place. So I just paid for my truck. They said I cannot stay on the premises long. But I just want to make sure that there's no damage or anything. So I'm about to be ready to go in here in a few minutes when I get my receipt. So I'm going to see you guys as soon as I get back here. Guys, I am looking for my vehicle. Don't know where it's at. So we're going to find it. They got my new truck amongst all these broken down ass cars that they sell in parks for. Uh, there she is right there. My truck is right there. If it's so much as a scratch on it, I'm not playing. Facts. Let's see here. Surprise, they ain't came out here and started stealing parts off my truck. Look at the car right next to it, man. Look. They got no respect at all, bro. Whoop dee. Whoop dee. Scrap yards like this, they use this stuff to sell the parts to other people, use parts for their car. But if somebody would have came to my stuff and started taking pieces off of it. Matter of fact, let me make sure my door is locked. Checking everything. She gonna say, uh, you can't stay on the premise as long. I told her, you know what? Y'all have my truck here for several hours, so I'm gonna finish what I gotta do and then I'm gonna vacate your premises. Then they gonna want me to sign a paper talking about signing this paper saying that all the contents of your vehicle are leaving with you. How do I know the contents of my vehicle are leaving with me if I haven't even been inside my vehicle to even check it yet? So far, I don't see anything wrong. I'm just a little heated, man. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely irritated. Okay, so my door is locked. The air car seat's still back there. Okay. Okay, so we good. I'm going to go back and pick Eric and him up. Uh, I don't know, but I'm going to see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, guys. As you see, I am sitting in my truck. So I got my truck back. I walked around my truck to make sure that there was no, you know, dents and scratches and all that stuff. I mean, I'm not really tripping anymore, but I will say this. Like, I was highly frustrated because, hmm. like, um, I try to make sure, you know what I'm saying, that when I plan, like, a weekend getaway, you know, even if it's just for, like, a day or two, I try to make sure that I try to plan accordingly. So That's nothing like can travel, nothing can happen. Everybody has a budget. I don't care so everything can go at least smooth is how you would want it to go. But then it'd be everybody little things like this that be happening. Budget. So when we make plans, whether it's me making plans or me and Eric are making plans together, we always set a budget for ourselves. So that way we don't overspend. Because when we go places, we like to buy, you know, like, we may not intentionally have intentions of buying this or buying that or buying that or but buying this, still buy stuff. but we always try to plan accordingly. Yeah. My oldest brother always told me, he said, Damien, if you ever travel or go out of town for on, on any type of distances, he said, even if you have your hotels booked, your Airbnbs booked, he said, always make sure you carry at least a couple thousand dollars with you. So, um... I'm sorry, these people just stop, just literally just look at I hate when they do that. My brother oh, always disconnected. Oops. You're no good. My brother always say, try to carry extra money with you because you never know what's gonna happen, whether you have a vehicle breakdown, mechanical failure or something. So today I end up having to go almost three hundred dollars over budget. But I'm glad that I was actually in a position to, a, to be able to do what I needed to do to take care of my business. Um, so, just real quick before I end this, this video off, man, I just want to just show you this right here. The towing place I ended up going to. Luckily for me, it was only like nine or ten minutes away from my location. The place <coughs> that they towed my truck to was Harwin Auto Storage. They like took it to like a storage place. And I don't know if this is on, I'm gonna try it. But total to get my truck back this afternoon or this morning, I'll say, was a total of $240. $240 I had to pay. That's something I still, I mean, 
And like I said, it could have been worse. That I was not expecting. My it could have been way gone. worse. I'm happy that I got it back. You know, like I said, um, Erica, Dion, they couldn't even go with me to get my vehicle because we needed a baby seat, a car seat. And the car seat was right here in the truck, which was at the tow place. And then all of our face masks and our hand sanitation and everything is inside the vehicle. So, you know, I, I'm not going to lie, man. I woke up this morning in really, 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 really good spirits. And then, like, we all got dressed up and everything was like, well, we're going to go get some coffee from the gas station and then go have us a breakfast real quick and then come back and probably go back to Houston for a little while and go to the park and stuff. And then to walk out there into the garage. Hey, your stuff gone. Garage, I'm looking where I parked my truck at. Hey, your stuff but I gone. See this other black truck sitting there, and, and the, the black truck that was sitting there was the same make and model as my truck. It was an F-150. I'm thinking to myself, it's a black F-150. Mine is silver. So I'm thinking like, did my truck get painted? But the whole time my truck was gone. So I think I said it earlier in this video. I don't know if I did or not. But they basically said that we supposed to have parked on the fifth floor. And the fifth and sixth floor is free parking. But any floors from one through four, you have to have this, this uh, tag in your window or sticker in your window. BS. You know, like that parking space. So I end up parking my truck in someone. That's some BS. Actually is a resident of that area or, or of that place right there. And they must have complained and said, hey, somebody's in my parking spot. And they end up towing a vehicle. So I couldn't really get mad at them because I remember years ago when I lived in an apartment and someone parked in my parking uh, area, I was highly upset. I never called to have a vehicle towed, but I had thought about it. But so the moral of the story is this, everything worked out good. Uh, Dion and Erica, they good now. Um, so Damn. I just want to just bring you guys this video, man. But I love you guys, mm -hmm. man. Thank you guys for watching this video. Until next time, it's your boy Damian Pryor. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Well, there you have it. Um, that was really unfortunate. I mean, at the end of the day, it's like... I, I just felt like... In situations like that, you don't know, like, you never know things like that small or that random could take place. Like, like he said, he was on a vacation. He planned, he planned accordingly. He did this. He, he dotted his eyes. He crossed his T's. He tried to make sure everything ran smooth for the weekend, just to enjoy himself for the weekend. And some small petty stuff like that happening, and it just throw your whole weekend off. That two, two fifty, three hundred dollars could have probably went towards somewhere else like something else to, for them to do during the weekend and it's just out the window at that point but I mean like he said at least he you know what I'm saying brought extra money and was in that place where like if things go left he can handle it at that certain point in time so I mean it's, it was still unfortunate it was still unfortunate I know I would have been mad in that situation but what can you do you know what I'm saying certain things you do there's repercussions and you know what I'm saying consequences for so yeah, so it's cool. At least he got his stuff back, no damage, nothing was stolen, and that's all that matters, right? Just move on. Can't do, can't do so much, but just you know what I'm saying, move on. But yeah, but if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys like, please like. You know what I'm saying? Leave a comment. How would you feel if you're, you know what I'm saying? You on vacation and your stuff gets stolen? How would you feel about that? You know what I'm saying? And I'm still thinking about that. That was, it. anyways. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you follow us. You know what I'm saying? Follow our Instagram. More videos on the way, and make sure you guys stay safe out there. And you know what I'm saying? We'll see you guys in the next one. You know what I'm saying? Peace.